everyone, Stick here from Maplewood Studio. Today I'm here at Anderton's Music Store in Guildford checking out some more bass guitars. And today I am looking at the Fender Standard P Bass. So let's see what this bad boy sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Fender Standard P Bass. So this one's made in Mexico. Um, so again, we're looking at an affordable bass guitar here, nothing silly expensive. We have an older body with a polyurethane finish. Uh, this one's in the brown burst. There's loads of different colors and loads of uh, bursts available. Um, we've got a maple neck with a maple board. Again, a rosewood board is available. Um, got the skunk stripe on the back. Great tuning pegs, the step up from the more sort of budget range, although they may look the same, they actually perform a lot better. Nice solid tuning. We've got a four bolt neck down here. We've got a satin, um, was it satin urethane finish on the neck? So it feels really smooth and nice in the hand. It's almost like there's no lacquer or anything on the neck at all, but obviously it's coated and so it doesn't get dirty and grubby and all that kind of stuff. Um, yes, the four bolt neck. The finish itself being polyester is gonna wear really well, very hard wearing finish. Might not be to everyone's taste, some people like beating up old guitars, uh, but the polyester stuff does wear very well. Um, neck wise, we've got a modern C-shaped neck. Uh, very nice and comfy in the hand. It's not overly chunky or anything like that. Uh, we've got 20 frets going on, uh, the dot inlays, nice fret dressing on the neck, no sharp edges or anything. Uh, down on the bottom, we've got the typical, you know, traditional kind of looking bridge. Uh, so it's not one of those big chunky high mass bridges, it's more of a traditional looking bridge. Um, but again, functions well, no rattles, no buzzes, no sharp edges. Really nice visuals, I think. I prefer the old sort of style looking ones myself. Um, three ply scratch plate, but a, a really nice, cool, bass guitar. Being older, these are, this is slightly heavier than a couple of the other basses I've checked out today, uh, but it's not overly heavy, heavy if that makes sense. Um, it's kind of what you expect from a typical P bass to be honest. Um, tonally, it's going to deliver everything that you know and love about a P bass, all those classic rock tones. You, know, you can get a little bit of foam under the bridge, get the more muted kind of R&B thing going on. Um, yeah, just a very nice, little, simple, versatile bass guitar. So let me know what you think of the tones below. Uh, as usual, the recording chain for this is the DBX DB12 Active DI box where the signal split. I'm using the Ashdown rig in the room for monitoring and we're recording straight into Logic Pro via an RME Fireface 800. Um, yeah, so there's no processing on the tone. All you're hearing is the tone of the instrument itself. So um, yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comment section below. As usual, I'm no monster bass player, but I'll do my best to get some tones across for you. Okay, so there you go, that was the Fender Standard P Bass, the Mexican one. Um, I think you agree, it delivers the typical P Bass stuff in bucket loads, and you can't go wrong with this kind of guitar, to be honest. Um, the Mexican Standard P Bass from Anderson's Music Store in Guildford, click the link below, comes in at just over 500 pounds. So again, not silly money, not super expensive, uh, doesn't come with a gig bag, so you'd need to budget a little bit for that and you, if you're gonna be taking it out and about and all that kind of stuff. Um, and obviously you want to get a good quality gig bag, don't get something cheap and flimsy. Um, but yeah, I think for the, that money, as with all these instruments now, you're getting loads of bass for your money, but this kind of, for me, I love the simplicity of the P bass setup, um, a bit like the Music Man Stingray, you know, just that simple, simple design, one pickup, you know, okay, you got a little bit more offer with the Stingrays, but it's, it's just nice and easy to use. Um, you don't get like overwhelmed with options. It just does what it does and it does it very, very well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments in the, sec in the um, comment section below and let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Stick out, bye. Yeah.